I love it. This chap who has just come into the studio. It is the one and only king of River City, of course, <laughs> but many other things. It's Guy Lamont. Yay! Thank you so much for having me. But, uh, thanks for coming in. Making your fringe debut. Making my fringe debut. Yep. I know. How do you feel? Have you had the fear? I have had the fear. We've, we're a couple of shows in. Um, it's um, it's so exposing, but in the best possible way. Like you, you, you it's like kind of the playing into the sort of big ego all mm. the claps are for you all the laughs are for you some of the grimaces are for me as is well. your name above the door Gary uh-huh. is it in neon, in neon got lights posters like post- <laughs> my face is everywhere I'm flying up in the Royal Mile it's it's so nice to be part of the Fringe experience because I normally come over to see friends throughout the years I never really get a chance to do theatre um, come and see friends and then I end up just sitting in the pub getting absolutely bladdered as you do so it's, ne- it's weird to have this different headspace where I have to go home I have to vocal rest I have to steam my voice, a different kind of steam. for me. It's a routine, of course, it's a routine. <laughs> yeah, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate and, and rest. Yeah, I know it sounds really boring and grannyish. Um, we I went out on Tuesday night after my opening up to Club Coming and I left early. It was all kicking off and I was like, I'm tired, I want to go to bed. Oh, did you have a wee soda water and lime? I had a few red wines. Apparently that's a decent one to drink. If you're going to drink anything, have a wee red wine. Yeah. So I've That's good for your heart, few... isn't it? It's supposed to be good Listen, for you. Listen, medicinal works for me, whatever <laughs> medicinal. <laughs> what made you want to do this, guys? Lunacy. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, well, we get summer breaks for River City. We get summer and winter breaks. And winter's always taken up by Panto. So the, the summer break, I kind of either... It's the first time in a wee while that I've not identified booked in. And I thought, I could just bum about. And, and my friend, Jono, who's my producer, he was just like, you're not going to do that. We have one of the biggest arts festivals in the world on our doorstep. Let's have you do your job and we'll, we'll create something. And, and it was, it was born out of um, just a, a few glasses of personality. And, and we come up with a theme. And as soon as we come up with the theme, it all just sort of fell into place of singing songs of redheaded artists and what, what, what ones we're going to use, how, the, what the style would be. Yeah. And we thought one man cabaret style one man in a piano and and I know that's how it's been born but I cannot believe that it's actually here we've actually pulled it off and people are coming to see us and well, they're actually enjoying it Is everyone kind of expecting your River City character? I mean that's because yeah. you're so obviously Yeah so I, it's kind of so synonymous with, with my sort of public mm-hmm. persona I suppose and I do sort of da- dip into it I mean you have to give them the old razzle dazzle I suppose um uh, and Robbie's a slightly more Can you heightened. cut my hair? Do you know oh, I see if I had a pound for every time I could be I could Can retire Can you dye my roots? I wish I was a hairdresser. If I was a hairdresser, I'd have made a killing. Um, but um, I, I think they are expecting that. And most people, we put out some promo videos which were really sort of serious and slow and ballads. And, and so I think a lot of people were, were thinking that's what I was going to do. Like, here's the next song by Lulu because I love her. She's mm. redheaded. And there's not. There's fun. It's personality. It's jokes and silliness and but audience participation. And so, so yeah, it, it's a, I think people are surprised in that way of going, oh, it's fun. Good. That's great. What is the most nerve-wracking part of doing this, breaking <laughs> away from your River City stuff? River City stuff. Um, it falls to us. It's all it's all on us. And it, it, John and I were putting it together and we're going, is this just funny because we find it funny or is it really funny? You, you're kind of almost like putting yourself out of there on, on, on the line. And But but with that comes the, the, when, when people really enjoy it. That That's the most satisfying yeah. thing, making your own work, creating your own work, being your own boss as well. Like I'm kind of going, nice. yeah, I want to sing that song because nobody else will let me do yeah, that's quite nice. Oh, you did a couple of preview shows though, didn't you, before yeah. the festival? And they, they were good, they, you got yeah. good feedback? I got really good feedback. I had so, it was nice and friendly. It was a Glasgow crowd and obviously that's my hometown. Some family and friends were in. But I was really surprised by the fact that we had people who, who didn't know me or I didn't know them and maybe they were interested in the show or they were in, like, inspired by the videos. And, and some of the press we've done, literally people were like, we saw it, we thought it was a good idea. We decided to book and come along. So I, I've kind of been bowled over that, that it's, oh. I've kind of been accepted, I suppose as that is this making you think because you're a highly creative person right I'm moving on to the next thing what's the next project yeah, I mean I think always yeah definitely but I mean I've been doing River City for seven years but that also is the basis of everything like I would not be here doing it if it wasn't for that so I'm always massively grateful and thankful for that um, but the brilliance is that we do get those breaks so I kind of can do both so yeah mo- no, probably no more summers off I should probably just like flex this muscle and, and uh-huh. see where it finds me if you were not in River City 
Party, which soap would you be in? <laughs> Probably Coronation Street, because that's slightly more humorous and comedic, and EastEnders is a bit dull. Yes, yeah, so it's dark Although as Although if you're listening, casting directors, I don't mean that in the literal <laughs> sense. <laughs> Still willing to come to all editions. Absolutely. <laughs> the show is called What a Ready yeah. Gout Lamont, and it's at the board's 7.30? Board's bar, 7.30, yeah, so it's just at the bar in the Playhouse, Edinburgh Playhouse. Every single night, fabulous. Oh, good luck with the Thank rest you. of the run, Gary. Thank you, my darling. Cheers. What a star. Guy Lamont. <laughs>